not ours yet. We have no right to it. What good does it do lying under this house in two leather sacks? Leave the money where it is. Please, Jess. Regardless of your scruples, Madam Pure Heart, we leave with the old fool's hoardings tonight. What? Did we waken you, Master Zolka? Did our voices disturb your sleep? I possess a great thirst for water. No, no. Please, let me get the water for you. My thirst is deep, like that of greedy relatives for an inheritance they did not deserve. Or cut parts with an evil thirst for money not his. <laughs> Master Zolka, by sheerest coincidence as you entered, my wife and I were discussing financial problems of a husband and wife of but two weeks. Master Zolka, why do you behold me thus with that lone <coughs> evil eye? Would even a cut purse waste time on a penniless old hermit? I trust no one. I I bring this from the well. The water in the kitchen pail, it, it's warm. Should all the gold in the world vanish, there would be far less troubles and tribulations. All the thieves would shrivel up and die! Good night, Master Zolka. Chess, I fear he heard. Too much. Far too much. He may flee through the window. Spread the alarm to the village. No, he will not have the opportunity. What do you mean? Could a dead man spread an alarm? Dead man? Poor Master Zolka is destined to suffer mishap. The county records will say of a parent heart attack or seizure. Neighboring villagers will cluck their tongues and say, what a peaceful way to go. Yes. Oh, it will be peaceful and quick and painless. I won't let you. The what good is he in the world? I will do him a favor by smothering that pillow over his face. Jess, how can you even think of such a... There is plenty of reason. The gold and that lone evil eye. What? That horrible vulture eye. It pierces my soul, makes my blood run cold. I must rid the world of that eye forever. Jess, you must be out of your mind. You think me mad? I have never heard you speak so wildly. I cannot possibly be mad. I am too shrewd, too calculating, too clever. Could a madman escape an asylum in three days? Asylum? Yes, my dear wife. Those, are, those three days of the asylum made me more wise, more willful, more cautious. It is now that same caution leads me to destroy the gnarled, useless old man. Jess, I beg you not to. And I beg you not to interfere. Master Zolka, a word, if you please. What? What? What's that? Who's that? Jess, come back! Only I. What is this? Why do you interrupt my rest? Jess! I will allow you to rest very soon. What do you mean? Take, take it my pillow? Why this intrusion? Do allow me to return your pillow at once! Dear God! Help! 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 <laughs> Jess, tell me you did not kill the old man. The deed is done. Blood? Why is there blood? I will tell you why, dear wife. I smothered the old man with a pillow, but his heart beat on and on. Oh, no. No! It got louder and louder. I had to stop the beating. It would have broken the neighbors. Jess, I can't believe this has all happened. I can't. But we must go now. Far away from here. Jess, it's so important that we hurry. Yes. Uh, I will get the gold. No. The money remains where it is. The old man has no use for it. I found the gold. It's mine. Then you must go with it alone. What will you do? running away to marry a peddler. Remember what your father said? Remember? How could I forget? How could you be a scullery maid in someone else's kitchen when you could have your own kitchen with your own scullery maid? 
We are risk more now. <laughs> Jess, my yes. father was right. I scarcely knew you at all. Come, let that mistake now turn triumph. We will harness the nag, leave in the midst of the night. Jess, someone's coming. Could they have heard the cries of the old man? Impossible. Come, we will play the game.
do, however, see a curtain of terror in that of thy wife. Terror? Why should there be terror? Why, sir? Why the moist brow? Why do you quiver and tremble? By nature, I, I am a nervous man. I demand that right. And I demand the right of seeing my uncle immediately. No, please. Promote yourself for my death. I do not, sir. You threaten my life? Certainly not. Just put it away. Allow me to show you my finest blade. It is keen and deep and swift. The same blade that may have done harm to my uncle? Is that why the pair of you so insist he cannot be disturbed? Is it possible to disturb him at all? It is time to silence this one. No, Jay! Keep on your hair, Constable. Constable. What's amiss here? Maybe said I was to come right over. This man, he... If it isn't the same charming chap and his lovely spouse that sold my spouse those extra sharp kitchen knives earlier this afternoon. How do, how do you do? I'm very good. I had no idea that I'd be meeting with the police inspector this afternoon. Inspector? Now I like that. This charming chap and his very lovely spouse have held me at the point of a knife. My wife says he is the most well-mannered fellow to ever come down the pipe, and his wife, the prettiest damsel to do likewise. Nonetheless, they both have reason keeping me from my uncle's room. After everything your uncle's done for us, this house, the food, and the water? Kristen, I can judge character a lot better than that. I'll tell you what. I'll just go in your uncle's bedchamber and rouse him from sleep. That's what. That's all I ask, Master Brandon. And now, say to Nathan, Nathan, what harm has come to you in, say, the past two, three hours? And you know what Nathan is likely to say. Haul yourself out of here, Brandon, and let a tired old soul get some sleep. I agree with that. Master Brandon, <laughs> we have wasted sufficient time. I demand to know the truth at once. Very well, Kristen. But if he throws me out, you have to pay for the battered carcass. Heart. That beast. Yes, we must get away. They will hang you for the death of the old man. The beating. Do you not hear it? The beating. Why does his heart keep beating? Jess, leave. This is our only chance. Do you not hear the beating, Lorna? Why do you not hear it? Why? Why? <sighs> I, I have sad news. It seems old Master Zulk had died in his sleep. What a peaceful way to go.
Then we have to go home.